Hello everyone, and welcome to Office Mystic, where you can find tutorials for everyday Office applications. In this video, I will show you how to add time in Microsoft Excel 2013. Here we have a spreadsheet of four employees and their start time, end time, and worked hours. To calculate the number of hours worked, you subtract the start time from the end time by entering the equal sign, mod, open paren, C2 for the end time, minus B2 for the start time, comma, one, close paren, and hit enter. Now you can see Robert worked for four hours from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. To populate the rest of the column with this formula, you can hold down the bottom right-hand corner of the cell and drag it down to the bottom. Or you can double click on the bottom right-hand corner and it will quickly populate the rest of the column. If you're getting different results, you have to check to make sure the format for the start time, end time, and worked hours are set properly. For the start time and end time, you can select the entries, click on the launcher in the number group within the home tab, confirm that time is selected and the sample of 1.30 p.m. is selected, and then click OK. For the worked hours, you want to confirm that the format is custom. And in this case, I used open bracket H for hours, close bracket, colon, M, M for minutes. This formula, it will only give you the number of hours and exclude the AM and PM. Then click OK. How people normally approach this kind of request, they will do the following. Let's just put in a title there. And under E2, they will enter equals C2 minus B2, and then hit enter. Now you see what happens when the proper format is not applied. So you want to go to the launcher and use the same format I described earlier. And to populate the rest of this column, you can follow the same step as before. Now, you will see Olivia has a row of number signs for her calculation. This simple formula of just subtracting the start time from the end time works normally, but not if the time frame starts before midnight and ends after midnight. And in this case, it was Olivia starting at 8 p.m. and ending at 1 a.m. So in order to avoid this issue, you want to use the mod function, which can work with that um, time constraint. And so we're going to delete this column from this spreadsheet. If you have any questions about this tutorial, or if you have suggestions for future tutorials, please leave a comment below. Thank you.